Thank you. Thank you. Okay, are we ready, right? Yep. Okay. Um, the, the Lemon Company. We started with a small stall in a supermarket in 2015. Um, it, it was in Metro Ayala, the, the, the supermarket that got burnt a couple of years ago. Um, that's, what we're, that's where it all started. Um, now there are almost 30 branches in the Visayas and Mindanao regions. In addition to being named in Sunstar's Best of Cebu, the best lemonade of 2000 and 2019. Um, we're, we have, to be exact, we're, we have about 30, we have 36 outlets, a uh, majority of which is in the Visayas region. And then, um, and then uh, some is in the northern part of Mindanao. Um, next slide, please. Why is now the right time? Um, now is actually the perfect time to invest. Uh, in a growing brand like ours. Uh, most especially that number one, um, uh, with the pandemic situation that we're all facing, uh, health is an issue. Health is the number one concern right now for everyone. Um, so I think uh, that's one of the leverage we have as a brand is we're offering um, a healthy product. You know, we're, we're offering a healthy and fun product at the same time. And um, number two, we want to invite franchisees or potential franchisees to ride on with the momentum that we have built. Um, like I said, you know, we are, we are just three, four years in business and um, we're very aggressive in um, expanding our brand uh, to the Visayas, Mindanao, and Luzon eventually. Next slide. Um, sorry. I think we're going to go back. Okay. We established our brand in Cebu, probably. Sorry, can you go back one slide, please? There. That's it. Thank you. Um, we have established in, in our brand in Cebu, uh, probably one of the toughest markets in the Philippines. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the Cebu market, but uh, I've spoken with a couple of people. Um, I've spoke to one in particular. He's about uh, 60 year old. Uh, used to be in management for United Laboratories. If you're familiar with the company, uh, they are based in Luzon. And um, he said, he told me that uh, every time they test out a product, they always test it in Cebu. And I said, what? You know, that I, I found that interesting. And then he said, you know, the Cebu market is different. Cebu market is very unique uh, and distinct. So that's why when we, when we test a product, we always go to Cebu and test, test it there. He said, uh, if, it's, if it succeeds in Cebu, then most likely it will succeed and be accepted anywhere in the Philippines. So I said, you know, um, that's, that's an interesting opinion by, by him. So, um, and then thankfully, you know, I, we were privileged enough to and honored to be voted as one, as uh, the best lemonade of Cebu by our very well-known and trusted publication, Sunstar. Um, next slide, please. Okay, we're ready to grow in other regions and just as motivated as you are. Um, our franchise network started in 2018, um, but this year we are really focusing the growth of our franchise. Um, evidence of that is um, we, are, we, we have put up a corporation entirely just to support the franchise network. Uh, the Lemon Company is owned by Terraganics Incorporated, uh, run, managed and operated by Terraganics Incorporated. And, but this year, we have put up another corporation, TLC Franchise Corporation. 
just to manage the franchise network, just so we can focus on our franchisees. So because we have established our, our, uh, our foundation, our legal entity, our operations manual, our supply chain. So I think it's time. So this year, um, I think we are ready to grow in other regions. Next slide, please. Be a part of a powerful and growing brand that takes no shortcuts to success. Um, what I mean by that is, um, you know, there's a lot of ways for, for you to reach success. Um, but for us, uh, we chose the, the longer, the more difficult route. Uh, why is that? Uh, I think the longer route builds discipline and character. So from the time we started this brand, uh, it really took time for us before we, we, uh, we chose to grow through franchising because, you know, we want to make sure that our own stores succeed before we offer it to, to potential franchisees. So next slide, please. So do you want a business that promotes good health, invests in long-term gains, takes care of its people, is committed to fair and legal practices, or has a clear vision of its future? If you answer yes to all those, then next slide, please. Then congratulations, we're a great match. To us, our franchisees are like family. And because of our promise, we keep our standards high when selecting future franchise owners. So next slide, please. So what are your franchise options? Franchise offer. Um, we have tweaked this several times um, all throughout. Our investment estimate starts at 4, 418,000 for a cart. That includes a franchise fee of 150,000. Uh, that ex excludes permits, working capital, and deposits. Um, for the return of investment, uh, which is very important for investors, right? We always look for this number. Payback period average of 17 months, but it could grow as fast as 10 months, depending on your location and depending on the attitude of the franchisee. Um, you know, franchisee is a, is a good business opportunity, but if you're looking for a passive income, then franchise, franchising business is not for you. Because um, franchise, a franchise business is an active, so you have to be actively involved if you want to choose the, the, the franchise um, route. For the royal, royalty, it's 2% for, of the gro monthly gross income. Uh, for the advertising, um, advertising and marketing is very important for us. So we encourage um, each, outlets, each outlet to have a budget for advertising. So we have, a, we have two advertising funds, okay? One of which is a system-wide ad fund. It's 0.5% of gross sales. Um, now we will be collecting fund and put it in a bank and um, you know, this will be transparent to all franchisees. So you'll see where your money is deposited and you'll see where, where our, our, our expenses went. For the local ad fund, um, we assess 0.5% of gross sales. Uh, this is basically to advertise your own, your own unit. Okay, so basically we want to see proof that you have spent for advertising to market your own unit or units. Franchise terms, uh, three years initially, um, two renewals of three years each uh, for a total of nine years. Um, we chose to not assess for a renewal fee. <clears throat> so next slide, please.
for investment estimates. Um, so you have a, you have your core investment as a franchise, which means uh, you are going to pay us this amount. Um, there's a breakdown there. Um, card fabrication, design, POS. We use a POS for all stores now. Um, it's a tablet-based POS, and I, you know, when um, when we got this, it was like a, a huge, a huge blessing for us because it made our lives easier. Uh, I'm sure it would made your it would make your lives easier easier also. And then if you choose to have a CCTV in your store, it's optional, so that's an add-on. Uh, initial inventory. Uh, we're 20 uniforms, grand opening samplers, collaterals, franchise fee, and um, for a total of about 496,000. Okay, that's um, that's paid to the franchisor. So next slide, please. So. Investment estimate part two for third parties. What do we mean by this? So these are the possible expenses that um, you'll have to spend on, um, and then you'll be buying this from 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 an outside source, not from us. Okay, this is just an estimate. So every time we open a store, this is our budget for each cart. If we open a kiosk, that's our budget every time we open a kiosk for cleaning supplies, for office supplies, for insurance, licenses and permits, you know, legal and accounting, um, you all need those. So let's go to the next slide, please, Amy, for investment estimate part three. Um, sorry, next, that's it, yep, investment estimate part three. Okay, so for the working capital in deposits for a cart, it's about 195,000. Advanced rental, depending on which establishment you're going to rent, but that's just an estimate. Petty cash and change fund for each store, it's about 2,000. Cash bond, it's an estimate, depending on the landlord, depending on the mall. Rental deposits, again, that's an estimate, depending on the mall or the landlord. And um, other deposits, utility, utility deposits, your uh, sub meter, um, and all those. <laughs> uh, for a card, so your total investment estimate plus working capital in deposits is about 719000 So ideally, for a franchisee, we want you to have this amount. Okay? Just to have uh, enough buffer in case, in case. Um, because it's not always easy, you know, maybe for the first couple of months, it's still a struggle. Then uh, if you don't have much or enough capital, then what would happen is you would just close it, you know? So we encourage franchisees to have this amount if you want to invest in a cart. And uh, if you want to invest in a kiosk, we encourage franchisees to have this amount also, which is about 800,000 to make sure that your, your business will run even if sales are not promising during the first couple months. So next slide, please. So core investment, we have we've, uh, mentioned that earlier. So let's just proceed to the next slide, please, Amy. Support, okay. Uh, support, as a franchisor, the TLC Franchise Corporation, this is the job of the company that we've established, is to provide support to all the franchisees, okay? Number one will be the use of the Lemon Company trademark and logo, okay? And number two, we do site evaluations um, anywhere in the Philippines. We can do that for you. Pre-opening and startup assistance, uh, we do your franchise operations manual and systems, training on operations, management, customer service, product knowledge, and marketing. Grand opening assistance, 
national and local store marketing guidance, continuous business guidance and support, and access to new products and promos. So all these we'll be doing for the franchisee. Because, you know, um, this is, you know, a, a fairly common anecdote, but we find it very meaningful. You know, your success is technically our success. So we want it to succeed. So next slide, please. So that's just a sample financial statement. So I want you guys to focus on the red, red colored figures. Um, it basically, if you see on the left side, it, say, it, see, it says sales annual monthly, sales annual, and then at the bottom monthly daily, okay? Um, and you know, I can send these, uh, this pitch deck to you guys for you guys to study. Um, so if your daily sales, if you're rental, let's go to column number three. Okay, where it says high, no, just go back, head back, sorry. Uh, previous slide, please. Yes, that's it. So the third column, um, if your daily is 8,000, hold on. If your rental is about 23,000, for you to have your money back in nine months or under 10 months, see payback period months below, 9.8. If you want your money back in 10 months or under 10, then you should have a daily sales of 8,000 pesos a day. 8,000 pesos daily, sorry. Okay. Um, and then um, I think that's our, that's our goal. We need to look at for that type of rent and uh, foot traffic. Then again, I can, I can send this to you so that you guys can take a look at it in depth. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, yep, let's just, okay, next slide, please. Okay, are you ready to dive in? If you are, then all we need are these documents. Number one is your letter of intent, a sketch of your proposed location or locations. Uh, we, we suggest you submit um, at least three, you know, possible locations. Um, um, so that we can do site evaluation for you. Um, and again, you know, we can explain the value of, of, of that later on if we decide to um, decide to pursue this partnership. And uh, no, next is your resume with photo. And then once we get all of these, we evaluate your documents, we evaluate, we do our own evaluation. And then if everything's okay, then we invite you for a face-to-face -face meeting or uh, with the new normal, probably a Zoom, a Zoom meeting. So, okay, this, are, uh, this is our menu. Um, and the next slide, just, we can just make it. Go ahead. Yep. So the secret of getting ahead is getting started by Mark Twain. Um, so if you think you're ready now, then let's do it now and then not wait for later. So I want to invite you to come join our growing family. Um, if you're interested, if you want to know more, please contact us. Thank you and have a good day. Okay, thank you so much, Sir Terence, for your presentation about the Lemon Co. So, yeah, we'll be playing a short uh, jingle for the Lemon Co. Yeah. Okay. To the Lemon Company we go, where it's all filled with... 